Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The development discourse is governed by myths which prevent progress and keep us struggling in directions which are guaranteed to fail. The dominant approach to development takes Western society's ideals and judges everything on the ground as uh, different and therefore defective and focuses on remedying those defects. As opposed to this, the approach we will propose is to look at our current position realistically and try to make progress in, in directions which are good for us. When a child takes a first step, wobbles and falls, others see failure to walk, but the mother sees one successful step. And this is the secret to success. We look at the existing strengths in our societies and attempt to build upon them. It is by now well known that positive reinforcements create strong learning. Today, if we look at Pakistan, it is a country full of unique strengths. One of the, just one of them is the powerful response by the public to the devastating floods and earthquakes in which the public uh, participated body, soul and spirit in trying to help out those who were uh, hurt and affected. Despite uh, powerful propaganda against it, at the bottom, the underlying spirit of the nation is very strongly cohesive socially. Focusing on negatives causes them to be spread and to be normalized. So if we talk about how much corruption is uh, rampant and widespread, then ordinary people will become discouraged, take it as the social norm and participate in it. As opposed to this, focus on the strengths on uh, rewarding and finding and praising honesty will uh, create more honesty in the society. The is always half full and there are good and bad. And if you focus on the good, we will get good outcomes. The same picture, if you focus on the evil, we will get bad outcomes. On this reconceptualization of the strategy for development, there are many directions and many initiatives which could be taken in agriculture we have large numbers of we have great diary uh, we have products we have dates we have olives which are in primitive stage a food processing industry which is non-existent and so in all of these areas we have a magnificent potential to grow uh, we can create clusters of excellent and export by using Korean style models, which rewarded uh, excellence and punished failures. Uh, we have a potential for a booming fishing industry if we upgrade our ancient techniques and methods and equipments and equip our fishermen with modern uh, methods. If we build on strength, the sky is the limit for Pakistan. So to start with an imaginary perfection and then to uh, consider everything that we have as a defect in comparison with that perfection and trying to remove defects is the common strategy, but this has been proven a failure. Instead, start by assessing our own strengths and build upon them to make progress.